Alright, got everything apart, get the wheel bearing off, the brake rotor, the axle out of there. Um, if you're wondering how to take all that apart, I have a video on that. I do the, did the lower ball joint on the driver's side and the wheel bearing on the driver's side. And they show how to take the axle and everything out of there. I'll put a link to that here. It'll be uh, uh, over here. Got the axle on the bench here. Yeah, it's pretty worn out. So um, basically get this off, you're going to beat the shit out of it. Beat it this way, beat it that way, that way, that way, that way, that way. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll show you how to do it. So before you start beating on this, you're putting your press on it or anything like that, there's a little clip back in here you're going to need to get off. A little retaining clip. You're just going to get a flat screwdriver or something in there. Trying to get a good view of it here. I'm just gonna pry that off. I've kind of broke it loose already. It's gonna take a little more than that to start it, but it's hard to hold the camera and get this at the same time, but now that's off. Then you hit the other way, get the other clip out, and then uh, it should be good to start getting it. On to taking out the U-joint here. Got it on the vise and uh, got a ball joint press on it. There's a couple different ways you could do this. You could just put it on the vise and really hit this, hit here, back and left, and then take this cap off, hit it back right, take that cap off. But it, it might be a lot of beating. It could be on there good. It might have to use a sledgehammer. I might have to put the torch on it. Uh, this way I didn't use the torch at all. I just put this ball joint press on here. I tightened this down with impact, and then I gave it a hit on the end of on the end of here with the hammer, and it, it popped free pretty good. It's not all the all the way out, but it, you can see it's broke loose. That used to be sticking out a bit, not in. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna continue on. I'll probably put the impact back on now. See if I can push it out a little more. Pop the cap off, and I'll press it back. Do the same thing. Spin it around. Do the other sides. Okay, so I I ended up I, I broke it free basically with the press, and then I ended up hitting it out with the hammer. So I got it over this way so that I can pull that cap off. Here it is here. You can see there's no needle bearings left in there whatsoever. Not even a, not even crumbs from them. <laughs> but um, so now I'm just going to spin it around. And then I'm going to hit the, this, the axle left little axle stub back that way so that the cap can stick out here and I can pull that off. And then that way I'll be able to pull this off that end or that other end or whatever. Okay, I got the... Uh, Little stub shaft or whatever off there, and um, of course the other cap had zero needle bearings left in it. And um, gonna show you how to get this other one off here. The other side of this U joint. I was waiting for that to go off. I'm just taking the clips out here. Same as the other side, really. Just C clip, a retaining clip, whatever you want to call it. It's a retaining clip, but uh. Try and get this so. Both see it, I guess, but it's kind of hard. Alright, so I'm going to hit it to over that way so I can get the clip better. See what happened a bit. Good. Can't see, but I was making all the weird faces. Yeah, 
And you might want to have safe glass on this because this could just come flying out. Possible, anyways. It's not done, but. All right, I'll get the ball joint press on here. Your ball joint press is like mine. The caps are just to say too big to fit in there, so I have to use a bit of a spacer. <laughs> and there we have it. Not original. It's got a grease nipple on it. But uh, it's out. A new one right here. Yeah, you kind of want to be a little careful with this. You don't want to drop the caps and start losing little needle bearings. I'll be doing this again shortly if you do. But with that being said, you do need to pull the caps off. Be gentle with it. I don't want to lose any of those little bearings in there. And 
and set those to the side. Getting ahead of myself here. First, we want to clean this all up. Don't be sticking fresh new bearings in there. It's all rusty and dirty. It's no good. So we've got a wire wheel to fit in there. Stick that in there. Some sandpaper, whatever. And then get some oil in there. And then be ready to get a new one in there. In there, in there, in there. So this is what I'm going to use today. I'm going to be careful. I can do it too much. You don't want to start taking away metal and make it all sloppy. You want it to fit good. But you just don't want to be... Oh, too tight and not get in there and be all rough right now. Yeah, you don't really need grease, but uh, yeah, Andy sees it be perfect. You don't need much of it either, just a little bit in there. Don't need to be wearing it. Oh well. Sometimes you get things you don't want to do. Needle bearings. That's both caps on. We'll get the clips in there. I think after we get these two clips in there, then I will um, I will uh, put the grease zerk on. It'll be a little easier without the rest of the shaft in there. Alright, the wee little nipple. Just a wee little nipple. It's gonna be a better job for no gloves. Guess it's it. Threads aren't really the greatest thing, right? Probably put a couple more pumps out for just once the caps in there. If you notice, put some pre stud coming over there. A good tip is to always leave a little bit of extra grease on the grease nipple there. That way, there's no next time you can wipe the grease off and there won't be dirt going in there. Otherwise, if there's no grease, there's nothing to wipe off and have clean behind it, if that makes any sense. 
I'm just going to quickly clean this side up also. I guess I'll do it over the new U joint. Oh, what am I thinking? That can't move because it's on the, the axle. Only this piece here will move. So, so, clap it is. If I try and hit this way, it's just going to pop the cap off. Popping caps. <laughs> Just drop the tools in the ground, let them bounce. There's rubber mat there. They did bounce good. Alright. Last clip. Just in case you have the same uh, press as I have, this is the uh, spacer piece I used. It worked great. One new U joint ready to go. Oh, just a little more grease. More pumps. Get this back in there, and then we'll be ready for the wheel bearing tomorrow.
Alright, we're in. Alright, things are coming together. So, I, I was just gonna kind of end it for now, but I'm just thinking that's probably gonna be it for this video. I've already done a video on, on wheel bearings. If you wanna see that, I'll post that uh, so right here. And you can check that out. In that video, I do the wheel bearing and the lower ball joint on the driver's side of this truck. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a good one. The hammer to hold the paper. One more thing. She just needs one more thing. Here's my partner in crime. <laughs> hey man, how you doing, big girl? You know, big smile, eh? Yeah, jabby dog. Girl. Big smile, eh? Big girl. I don't want my hands. That's filthy. Girl, man.